So let's take a look at the uh, power transformer next. You guys may have noticed I clipped the uh, power cord off but uh, stripped it back and the reason I did that I want to check uh, a couple things. The uh, power switch itself and of course the primary to the uh, transformer and I'll show that on the schematic here in just a minute. But uh, this is not uh, looking good here. Just to let you know I've got the radio turned on. I've got some uh, jumper wires here, and again, I'm looking at the primary itself um, on the transformer side. And it looks like I'm reading uh, about 1100 ohms of resistance. So let me just keep working with the switch here. Uh, my guess is the switch itself may be defective and right there I'm up to about 141 ohms. Yeah, the switch probably needs a cleaning and I'm not sure I can clean this type of switch or not, but the on-off appears to be defective. And again, once I apply power to it, if there's some carbon in the tracks or something, it may self-clean itself. I've had that happen before as well. Let's give it a little cleaner here and see what happens. Well, it's already, uh, as you can see, it's already acting better. Yeah, not sure about the uh, resistance that I'm reading on the uh, primary itself. Um, I may actually undo the, uh, the uh, leads here to the uh, power transformer and try to get a more accurate reading. And I think there is a capacitor possibly across the line, so that may be adding to the uh, DC resistance that I'm seeing, but uh, I'm reading somewhere around, what, 77 ohms of resistance. Seems a little high for the uh, primary reading on the transformer. The good thing is that after cleaning that switch and moving it back and forth numerous times, at least I'm getting uh, consistent results when I flip the switch on and off. Let me pause the uh, video just for a minute and uh, we'll take a closer look here at the connection points uh, from the switch back to the transformer to see if there is any other uh, capacitors uh, in line or to ground that might be driving this resistance reading up. Okay, let's take a look real quick at the output of the uh, transformer and look at the secondary output. Right now I'm looking at the 6.3 volt winding and I'm looking at about uh, 0.4 to 0.5 ohms of resistance and uh, that's probably pretty close to what I've seen in the past. Again, we'll probably do a transformer test, bring this thing up on the variac real slow as well in a bit, um, assuming all the DC resistant measurements look uh, you know, within tolerance and uh, see what we get there. But uh, right now, again, I'm reading about 0 0.4, 0 0.5 ohms of DC resistance off the uh, 6.3 volt winding. Again, that feeds uh, this pilot light here, as well as the uh, heaters in the, uh, the tubes themselves. Okay, now we're looking at the, uh, the 5 volt output secondary winding. And uh, as you can see here on the uh, DC resistance, if that's showing up on camera, Move this light back. Uh, looks like uh, about 0.4 to 
uh, ohms of resistance, DC resistance, so let's just call it uh, 0 0.35, 0 0.35. Okay, now I'm reading the, uh, the DC resistance now for the high voltage winding. Again, I'm not at the center tap position, but I'm looking between, uh, let's see, I'm on the type 80 tube, and I'm actually looking between the uh, plate and the heater. And again, this will be where the high voltage uh, connects. And I'll show this on the schematic in just a moment. But it looks like I'm reading uh, around 550 ohms of resistance. So that, that appears to be in line as well. Okay, now I'm uh, positioned where I can read the uh, re DC resistance on the center tap side. So uh, what I'm doing, and I'll show this on the schematic in just a minute, but there's a yellow wire that goes back up to the fuel coil itself. So I've got one lead there connected to where the fuel coil connection uh, would be, which is the uh, center tap, uh, connected with the center tap location. And then my uh, second lead at this point, I'm on the uh, plate of the Type 80 tube, which is uh, pin number two. And I'm reading about 287 or 288 ohms of uh, resistance. So let me move this uh, real quick over to, uh, let's see, pin number three. And hopefully we'll read about the same. And fairly close. They're never exactly balanced. And so I'm looking at about 264 ohms there. And again, that would be between uh, pin number three and the uh, center tab. So I think we're good. At least the DC resistance looks good. We'll have to uh, bring the uh, transformer up on the Variac extremely slow and uh, see what happens. Okay, let's reference the uh, schematic now. So uh, we started out here again looking at the uh, primary itself. And we were making sure that this uh, primary winding uh, here was good. and. You can see we've got a few challenges there with that switch. I ended up reading around 12 ohms, so I'll have to look again. The line cord has to be replaced anyway here on the input side. And I cleaned the switch and rocked it back and forth and was able to get a steady uh, 12 ohms of uh, DC resistance. So we may be okay there. Um, if we have to uh, replace that switch, no big deal. Uh, next, we moved on to the uh, heater winding, the 6.3 volt. And again, you can see I read 0.5 ohms. And again, I just came off of the uh, pilot light itself. And you see the X there, and that X references and ties back to the heaters of the other tubes as well. Next, we moved up and checked the 5 volt winding. And that 5 volt winding, again, is for the uh, heater of the Type 80 tube. And it's just connected here and uh, read uh, about 0.35 uh, ohms of uh, resistance. I think we're good there. And then uh, last, uh, we check the uh, high voltage winding, and I think we're fine there. So um, you can look here, I went between, uh, let's see, pins number three and center tap, and pins number two and center tap, and you can see the uh, resistance readings. I've got 264, 288, 550 in total. If you do the math, it's about 552. So I'm real, real close to that reading. And that's typically what I've seen in the past on a, a transformer. So again, we'll probably end up applying some uh, AC uh, through the Variac uh, to the power transformer at some point during the restoration, of course and uh, bring it up slowly and uh, just make sure that uh, everything's uh, solid. So I uh, just wanted to share that again, that's how it ties back into uh, testing, just what I did, and it only took just a couple minutes here to do that, uh, just using, a uh, again, some DC resistance measurements. Hope you uh, found this helpful. Thanks for viewing.